Hi, I'm Dr. Matt Skelsky, and this is an introductory video into how to use a pen display to integrate into your lecture workflow. Here at the Palmer West campus, we have uh, this particular XP pen display. Um, ours has these accessory side buttons. Yours may or may not have those. You don't have to worry about those right now. I just want to show you the function of how to use a pen to write on the display. Okay, so this is the pen that comes with the display. You can see it's got some accessory buttons on the pen itself, and we'll talk about those in a minute. And then it also comes with this nice stand that allows me to put it at whatever angle I want. So if I want to stand it upright, I can do that, or I can lift the lever and I can put it down very flat. And so I can draw on it um, more like I would for a piece of paper. I particularly just prefer to have it at about a 45 degree angle. Okay, so the nice thing about this pen display is that if you're in a, any type of software that supports a pen function, um, like a tablet mode, uh, it will work with just lifting the pen up and literally just putting on a display. That's all there is to it. So let's just open up a PowerPoint here. Okay, so I'm going to go to PowerPoint. I'm just going to open up, you know, some basic template. Okay, and say I'm giving this presentation and I decide I want to draw something. I can literally just pick the pen up off the table and put it on my PowerPoint and I can immediately start drawing. If I want to change colors, I can come down here and just change it the way I usually would for the pen tool and start drawing. Uh, so that's the nice thing. It's just very intuitive. You literally just pick the pen up, put it on the display, and it works. It is pressure sensitive, so I push light, it makes a small line, and if I push hard, it makes a thicker line. And you might say, well, what if I want just a plain white uh, surface to draw on? You could either hit W for a white screen um, and draw here, but the problem is it won't save those annotations because that's just a temporary white screen. Uh, the other solution for that would be to just make simply a white slide. Okay, so I'm just going to put a blank slide in here. And now as I'm giving my presentation, I can advance to where I know I'm going to have a white slide. I can draw here. And then when it's time to exit the presentation, I hit escape uh, or, you know, end the presentation however you usually would. And I can either keep or discard those annotations. So in this case, I'll keep it. And you can say it's preserved uh, my annotations here. So I could send that to students or do whatever I wanted uh, with those annotations. Um, so like I mentioned, this also works in other Microsoft softwares like Microsoft Word. So if I wanted to fill out a document, I can just open up uh, this document here and I can literally just pick my pen up and put it on the display and it will draw on there just like it was a sheet of paper. Okay, so I can go here, I can sign my document, examiner number 62, meets, you know, all those types of things. So and then I would just save that. Okay, so it just saves all those annotations uh, directly within the document the way it would text. So that's a very nice and intuitive way to use this. Um, let me just show you the pen tool function. So if I'm in a PowerPoint, say, and I'm drawing, if I click the top pen button here, okay, uh, that's going to convert it to an eraser. But you have to be hovering within a few millimeters for that to work. If I do it out here, it's not going to do anything. Okay, and so if I want to go back to the pen tool, then I just literally click it again. If I click the more distal uh, one, what that's going to do is that's just going to be a right click. Okay, so if I want to, uh, if I say I'm drawing, I can click that button, I can come down here to pointer options, and I could potentially change the ink color that way to be a different color. Okay, but um, so yeah, so I tend to uh, hold it like this so that I don't accidentally hit those buttons while I'm lecturing because otherwise you get an erase tool when you don't mean to. And then, you know, it might fluster you and you might not remember you have to hover within a few millimeters to switch it back to the pen tool. All right, so hopefully that's a good introductory video for you. Um, one thing I just want to caution as a little bit of a troubleshooting is that this is not a touch display. So don't expect it to work like an, your phone or an iPad. I can touch this thing all day long, right? Nothing's going to happen. It's communicating with the pen. It's not communicating with just general touch. Okay, so this is a battery powered pen and it does have to be charged about once every two months. Um, so charge lasts a really long time. Uh, so generally if something's not working, it's not because the pen isn't charged. It's usually because the USB connector that allows the pen to communicate is not plugged into the display. So let me show you that. All right, so if we look at the back of the display here, you can see we have three connectors. So it's going to be hooked up to the computer with one of these three, either a VGA, DVI, or HDMI cord. It has a power cord here, but then it's got this third cord, which goes into USB in your computer. And that cord is what allows the pen to communicate with the display. So if the pen isn't working, typically it's because that is not plugged in. Okay, so just make sure that USB cord is plugged in and then everything should work. Um, there is a rare chance that potentially the pen, pen could be dead and may need to be charged. Um, but just as a point of note, the pen does not need to be plugged in when you're using it. Okay, so this is the power cord here. It's just a USB charger. Uh, it is a wireless pen, so it should work fine um, drawing 
without without that plugged in, right? So obviously it's not plugged in right now and it's drawing fine. Um, other troubleshooting is that potentially you're in a software that doesn't support a pen function. Okay, so uh, let's just go to say like a normal Windows folder. All right, so if I'm in my Windows folder, you can see I can click around, it's gonna just function as your mouse would. Okay, so you can use this as a mouse to click on things, um, but you can't just randomly draw on whatever you want. So you have to be within a software that supports a pen tool to draw, otherwise it's gonna be just functioning the way your mouse would. All right, hopefully that helps you and you enjoy using uh, this pen display to annotate your lectures.